Hey there, friends, and my cash. Um, just thought I would touch base with all of you. I'm taking a break uh, from my work this morning to go on one of my two daily hikes. Actually, because I'm kind of time challenged today, I'm just hiking around my neighborhood, which is really beautiful. And uh, I just wanted to say hi to everyone and uh, just congratulate you all for dealing with the current situation in a positive manner. And I know that everybody's going through their own stuff, but I encourage you all to um, share as much as possible, not just here in our group, which is a special group, as you know, but with everyone um, as much as possible. I have been in a lot of deep meditation about the whole situation, as you know, and um, I really truly believe that we are in a, a very positive situation. Yes, there is some suffering, there's pain, but that's the, the dual nature of this place. Um, and we've talked about that a lot, you know, about how what you focus on is more of what you get in your, in your everyday life. So um, I'm encouraging everyone, oops, sorry kind of windy and rainy here. I'm encouraging everyone to stay as positive as possible and look for the good in everything. Look for the silver lining, if you will. I know that's cliche, but it's, uh, it's beneficial because you will see good in all things. It's amazing. The beauty that I have seen through this whole uh, scenario since it started. I, um, I want to talk a little bit today about semantics. We may have talked about it a little bit before the other night, some of us, but um, the semantics that we use, the words that we use, you know, sound is a very important and high-level technology. And the sound of our words bear the feeling state of what we are experiencing. So I say watch your words and watch your mind. A couple of the words or phrases that I have found um, contain negative connotations for me. So I've switched to using something else. Number one, social distancing. I do not believe in using that phrase. I think it is a harmful phrase. I prefer physical distancing because it actually states what it is we are needing to do right now for a short time, I think, um, to be you know, physically safe and uh, stay well. So you know, definitely don't social distance yourself stay connected as much as possible however possible whether it's you know uh, connecting with people on social media or in your newsletter or doing little Facebook lives or little uh, you know lives uh, on YouTube or whatever and um, you know just little videos like this of your everyday life just something to say hi just tell us what you're doing and uh, I think that fosters community and I think it fosters closeness. And what I've found is a lot of intimacy, deeper intimacy throughout every day that has been really horridly lacking in our lives. You know, people are not socially distant most of the time uh, up until this happened. You know, we're, we're packed into offices, we're packed into buses, we're packed into grocery stores and clubs together. So we're, you know, uh, physically di not distanced from each other until now, but we have been social distancing. Most of us haven't connected on any deep level with most people in our lives for a long time. And what I'm finding now is, you know, um, I've worked remotely for quite some time as far as, you know, virtually, in my sacred work, in my quantum transformational work and channeling work. Um, and I formed deep, deep connections with my students and clients there in virtual space. It's wonderful. It feels um, liberating. It feels safe, right? So that's always been my experience, whereas people were kind of afraid that it would be limiting, that we weren't in the same room together. 
people who are experiencing it in that energetic way are really enjoying the intimacy that we're sharing and the, the coherence. But now um, I'm also remotely um, working my corporate job from home uh, thanks to some grace and I'm very, very happy about that. Couldn't be happier, actually. I love it. And, uh, you know, I, on, in a, on a given day, I might speak to 50 to maybe even 80 people a day um, in a five to six hour time span um, at my corporate job. And so you're very succinct, you're brief, you're direct, you know, what do you need? Or how can you give this to me? Or what can I do for you? You know, and I'm always friendly. We're all always friendly, most of us, but um, even courteous. But what I'm finding is now that everybody is um, more on retreat, which is the word I like to use instead of isolation or quarantine, now that we're all on retreat, even those of us who are still working, there's a whole new freedom. And not being able to physically be in the same room with a lot of people, it brings a human longing for greater intimacy. And so rather than just say, hey, do you have that file ready for me? You know, they might say, hey, how are you doing on that file? And how are you doing? And, oh, I see your dog there in the background. And how cute is that? And, and uh, what's, what's your environment like there? And, you know, and, and, and it's just, uh, you know, how are you feeling? It's a beautiful thing. And at the end of every conversation, people are saying, you know, be safe and be well. And I wish you well. And uh, it's just a glorious thing. Sorry for the barking dog. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful thing. We're reconnecting on a deeper level with people while we are supposedly isolating. So it feels like retreat because, you know, for me, I now don't have two extra hours taken out of my life just for commuting to my work. Those two extra hours I can spend in meditation or self-care or connecting with friends in this way, um, doing more of my sacred work, taking more clients. The self-care part is very important. And being in deeper, longer meditations, very, very important. And it's been so awakening, so enlivening, so rejuvenating. This has been nothing more than a miracle for me. And I'm very grateful. And so I tend to want to spread the word. And hopefully you will resonate with it and spread the word too. And use the phrase physical distancing when talking about maintaining distance with people for physical safety. And maybe you will resonate with the term retreat rather than isolation or quarantine or lockdown. Um, yeah. So that's really all I had to say today other than I love you. And I'm sending you all energy and support always, every day. And uh, I just want to hear about you. Oh, and one more thing as I attach this. Um, thanks so much to people like uh, Ray Harris, who put together that great presentation for our CE5 group the other night. Um, please look into that uh, information in the file section, if you can. It's very, very important stuff. I think it's very relevant. Uh, I hope you find it relevant too. And then our sister Kelly has been graciously taking the time, sorry about that, taking the time to record videos on fermentation so that you can have good, wholesome, nutritious probiotic food at your house for pennies, pennies, and for, um, and for very little work. And uh, I hope you will watch those and get excited. I had wanted to make those videos or at least collab with uh, her and maybe Rhonda Durham. And I just got really busy with my own work. Grateful for that. Um, and just haven't had a chance to look up old videos that I made when I ran Council Lightsitter or make new ones. So thanks so much, Kelly. 
and uh, they're great videos. She's very, very masterful at what she's doing and how she's teaching it. So please check those out and give those things a try. I think you'll really love it. So, uh, and if anybody else has anything they want to share, you know, Rhonda Durham was sharing some teachings from Ramtha, the powerful warrior, uh, uh, high-level entity that that uh, Jay Z Knight has chan has channeled for decades and decades. Who's one of my teachers as well. Um, you know, if you have something to share, folks, share it. Share your not just your sightings of UFOs, which is, that's what this space is kind of for. Is it's CE5 centered, but CE5 is now, you know, I don't even want to call it CE5 anymore. I call it human initiated contact experience, which is, you know, the kind of the preferred term now, heist. But contact, share your contact experiences. Old, new uh, questions, you know, if you have footage, if you have pictures, great. If you have something that you dreamed or experienced in your house or uh, something came overhead and you weren't sure what it was, let's talk about it. This is the time. We have, we have the space. Let's keep this space going. And, uh, and let's spread the word about how more comprehensive this practice is. Because when we make contact with beings who are not living here mostly on earth we have contact and coherency with each other as well because of entanglement what we do in one realm we do in this one so i'll leave you at that time for me to get cleaned up get to work namaste and the cash and i love you all bye